Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. Got my safety goggles here. Let me grab the camera and I'll take you over and show you what we got going on in the big tent. So, I took those lights out that you saw on the bat and bottom down there last time. So those have been removed. And we've got our eggplants over there. They look to be doing pretty good. Haven't had any, uh, any of them dying yet or anything. The little peppers over there, they're, uh, they're doing pretty well after I've been giving them a little foliar dosage of the uh, CalMag supplement along with uh, some seaweed extract. So they seem to be greening back up and uh, we've got some new peppers growing on there. This one here, it, uh, you know, it was a little worse off for wear than the other one. We do have some new growth coming on that little pepper. Actually, I've been doing that same foliar feeding on it and we harvested some of the peppers back there that we, you know, had on there before. And you can see there's a, another one here that's coming on. That one there, you know, it's it's gonna get harvested probably soon. I'll probably take that this week and you know, snack on it when I come down here in the evening. But the, uh, the eggplants that we have underneath the uh, little bubble dome, we've got three of them up now. We've got uh, two of the Michael eggplant, and then we have one of the Black Beauty. And the other ones I haven't seen anything sprout out of yet, but uh, it's still early. So hopefully we'll get some more of those germinating. Because you know, I wanna have at least you know, 20 eggplants, close to 20 for our yard this year out in the gardens. Uh, with the uh, move, I, know, I also elevated the uh, the little poinsettia to give it a little bit better light, and it seems to be liking that. So it seems to be greening up, you know, because it had some leaves that were looking pretty sad. And so uh, I raised it up, and I've been using my little moisture checker to make sure I keep it moist, because I was kind of letting it go dry, and then I'd water it. And that uneven watering can really do havoc to these kind of plants. So I'm using that to make sure I keep it moist, because you know we don't want that little guy taking off and heading to the dump. The uh, Vates kale is doing well. This is the new Vates kale. You can see it's really coming along. You know, it's got its true leaves out now. And so we'll be able to harvest that. I mean, we could do that as a, you know, small little microgreen at this point, but uh, I like it when it gets to this size here because then you really get a lot of dense nutrition in your meals. And so we, we haven't harvested this one out this weekend. So this Monday or Tuesday, we'll be able to harvest another dinner meal out of this. Uh, the spinach over there, you can see one of them has come up. I took the plastic off, it makes it a little easier to see. But uh, you got one of those little spinach back there popped up. I'm waiting for the others to start coming up. And hopefully, hopefully they'll germinate because I haven't done the type of germination and type of the trays that I'm doing here in such sparseness. So hopefully we'll get some more germinating. Uh, back there you can see the new basil is coming up. That's the large leaf Italian basil. The other basil back there, we cut off a few of those and had those in some uh, dressing that Paula makes for our salads this week. And the other ones, they look like they've recovered quite a bit from, you know, getting dumped on top of each other. <laughs> but uh, here's the uh, red Russian kale. And we harvested this off this weekend, so it's kind of sparse right now. And it's got some regrowth coming up in through there. You can see it down in there, the littler leaves coming on. So we'll have to wait and reharvest this probably later in the week to get our next batch out. Um, that's kind of it. Oh, and then we've got the, uh, I had to put a tomato cage in here because the, uh, the pop-up tomato that I've been growing, that thing has gotten so huge that it started blowing around with the fan that's in here and it's almost broke off. So I, uh, I had to kind of stick him up against the, the side of the, uh, the bench here. And then uh, yesterday I came down and I put in a cage for it. But uh, that thing sure is healthy and it is huge. I can't wait to get that thing outdoors and get it in the ground because hopefully we'll get some really early larger tomatoes and I'm hoping that's actually going to be one of my little guys that we used to have inside this tent in the older videos of the indigo rose so that way I can have some of the indigo rose back and then I can harvest the seed out of that because I didn't really figure on harvesting any of the uh, indigo rose seed kind of just let it go and you know I can always pick up more of that from high mowing seed but uh, you know I miss those tomato plants in here because I used to love coming down here after work and picking those. And you guys, you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, you used to see how I used to come down here and talk about my tomatoes because that's my favorite thing to grow in the garden. All right. Well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.